Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel by Bonnie Sky. Today we will see how to add a confirm password field in WooCommerce checkout page. So let us see what are the steps that you need to follow to add that field because by default, uh, if you allow users to create an account when they are placing an order, you you won't be able to see a confirm password field in that form in the checkout form to add a confirm password field in the checkout form you need to do some more code in the function.php using the wordpress woocommerce hooks and what are the code let me show you so you need to use woocommerce checkout process and WooCommerce checkout fields hooks to add a new field in the checkout that is confirm password field. I already have uh, an example to show you so that uh, you can see it practically and get more confident. So as you can see, I already have the code commented here in the function.php of my project. And this is the WordPress that I am using. So I already have a product added in the cart and uh, right now I am on the checkout page. So you can see there is no account creation option in this checkout form. First of all, to let users create a new account when they are going to place an order you will need to enable that option from the woocommerce settings from admin panel you can see we are in the admin panel of the wordpress and uh, here it is the woocommerce just go in settings and click on accounts and privacy here we have account creation options you will need to uh, check this option allow customers to create an account during checkout until you check this option you won't be able to create that account when uh, from the checkout page so just click on it and save now if you refresh after checking that option the account creation option will enable and will start appearing in this form as you can see we have create an account option but as you can see it is just checked and it will create the account password using your email or username itself but where is that uh, password or confirm password or field that you want to enter in to get that uh, field here you will need to enable it from that sa same setting page and uh, enable that option after that you will get that password field while creating an account as you can see we have when creating an account automatically generate an account password so we don't need that we want or let users enter the password yourself after unchecking it just save so now we have saved the, saved the settings let's see let's refresh it see now user can create an account from the checkout page and able to enter the password so but we don't have any confirm password field so we have only one field to enter the password to get uh, an extra field confirm password field you will need to enable that action code that i already have written in the function.php to get that confirm password field So I just uncommented it and saved. Let's refresh the page and see. See, 
now we have the confirm password feed along with the password so now we can let the user enter its uh, password then confirm password and place the order and this way the user will be able to create its own account using his own password let's go through the code what it says why didn't appear the password because as you can see we have checkout fields uh, filter of the WooCommerce here we have this callback and the callbacks we are passing fields as an argument then we are checking the option like if the generate password field is not equal to then return the fields otherwise it goes ahead and uh, creates this confirm password field that we are going to create it and we are appending all these options and sending it in the assigning it in the account password underscore to field so the field name uh, will be this one and we are returning all the array multi-dimensional array in the few of the fields so that it will appear same like the other fields are appearing in the checkout form and this is the action hook that is used to check whether password and confirm passwords matches or not if they don't match it will send a notice saying that password and confirm password doesn't match something like that so let us see that See, I have just uh, entered a wrong password and uh, a different password like confirm password is has some other password and the confirm password has some other and confirm password has some other value and now when I clicked on place order it doesn't it shows a warning saying that password and confirm password doesn't match so this is how you can uh, implement this confirm password and add it in the form along with the password field. So this is uh, what I wanted to show in this video. Please like and subscribe if you find this video helpful.